I don't know what Mincio's shirt says there in the background, but I'm all about it. <laughs> <laughs> How's everyone doing? Are you are you are you are you having a, a good day? A, I am. I oh, that's I'm so glad to hear We're that. Playing butterfly soup too. How could I not be butterfly soup toop, if you will? <laughs> I will be, of course. <laughs> now it's been a hot minute since we played the original game, uh, and this came out I think October. Don't quote me on that. It came out late this year. And we've been trying to get into our schedule as soon as we can. And we finally got a moment and we're like, all right, well, we need to play this now. And now we're doing it. I'm looking forward to it. It'll be fun. Hell yeah. It'll be great. Uh, I remember nothing about what happened in the first game. Uh, Other than that, everyone was gay. Also, uh, like studio key levels of baseball. And a knife. I think it took place. Like it takes place in California during like the late aughts, right? Prop 8 era pretty sure mm, i forget does that do people know what prop 8 is or do i need a history lesson oh god <laughs> oh god i just realized what it, that's less than 15 years ago why do i need to <laughs> anyway let's play butterfly soup too uh, i feel old anyway our, it's been like four years since we played the game four three four years oh this i remember this uh so voices are all gonna be different like i don't remember much about what happens just roll with us all right it'll be fine Akarsha, ninth grade. <laughs> Can I be Mincio, please? Yeah. Get up, bitch. It's ready. Finally, out of the way. You'll get burned. Oh my God, you move the mouse around and it moves the perspective. That's 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 cool. so unnecessary. I'm gonna play with my gauntlet though. Akarsha gingerly pulls up the molten chocolate cake from the oven. Thank God, it looks edible this time. This is our second try. Dia ruins the first one by forgetting to add flour. What are all those specks on it? It's like the batter wasn't properly mixed. We worked so hard mixing it in, though. It's probably fine. Yeah, yeah, whatever. We don't have enough time to redo it at this point anyway. All we gotta do now is write Happy Birthday Noel on it. Yeah, yeah, naturally. Akarsha pipes icing letters onto the cake as Min checks her phone. Hurry up, Dia says they'll be here any second. Easy, I'm done icing the first word already. Why the fuck did you write Noel first? Ah, shit, I got ahead of myself. (laughs) Uh, I guess you could go, like, Noel, happy birthday. (laughs) But the thing about happy birthday name is that it's perfectly aligned, so that way the longest word is directly in the middle, which, you know, helps with the, the shape of the cake, right? You get the most space to write birthday. Happy has a little bit less space. Mm -hmm. And then the name hopefully is shorter than birthday. I mean, I don't see the issue here. Just write Noel, then birthday, then happy, then flip it upside down. And it'll be be exactly like it was meant to be. Perfect. Perfect. No notes. I am going to fucking kill you. (laughs) (laughs) Karsha frantically adds birthday to the cake. Wait, what are you doing now? If you hadn't done that, we could have salvaged this with Noel, happy birthday. Don't ask me that. That's what you get for rushing me. What, what are we right now? Noel, birthday, happy? It's going to look <laughs> like we had a goddamn stroke. <laughs> it's going to look like we had a goddamn stroke icing this. The doorbell rings. Min and Akarsha freeze. It's them. Give me the icing bag. You're not allowed to have it anymore. Okay, fair. I don't trust myself anymore either. I'll go stall them instead. Yeah, yeah, keep Noel outside. I just need like five minutes to figure out how to fix this. Akarsha sprints to the front door and throws it open. Uh, so a lot of the main romance of the game focuses between Dia and Min. I see. So I'm gonna have you take Dia and I'll take Noel. If I remember correctly, Dia was shy. Dia is very quiet and soft-spoken, yes. Okay. Brought her. Well, well, well. If it isn't fancy meeting what the cat finally decided to show up. (laughs) This game's writing is impeccable. 10 out of 10. No notes. What on earth are you saying? Noelle narrows her eyes suspiciously at Akarsha, then tries to peer past her into the house. Is this your house? Dia wouldn't explain why we were walking here. Sure is. To be honest, Frenchman, we're here because, uh... We're not ready to reveal the birthday cake yet. I gotta do something to distract her. Uh (laughs) (laughs) Uh-huh. The fact that these are Akarsha's (laughs) go-tos... Goes to... (laughs) 
All right, what are we doing? What are we doing? Damn, this is tough. This is. Uh, let's go with propose to her. <laughs> Agartha gets down on one knee. Noelle looks warily down at her. <laughs> Noelle, will you marry me? <laughs> <laughs> I love Diaz does not compute yeah. face. <laughs> What is wrong with you? Akarsha grabs Noelle's hand and tries to force a rubber band onto her finger. <laughs> what? <laughs> Not even a ring pop. What is that? Your engagement ring. I, di <laughs> I didn't agree to this. We are not engaged. You didn't say no. No. Too late. You didn't say it right after I asked you. <laughs> That's... That's not how this works, you dolt. Is that any way to address your future wife? <laughs> Noelle just getting selected over here. <laughs> Noelle flings the offending rubber band into the bushes. <laughs> Dia just stands in there in confusion. Noelle suspiciously looks from her to Akarsha. All right, what is really going on here? There's no way you made me walk for an hour just to act out this insane, insane skit. It only took that long because you wouldn't run. Once you run at least three miles without walking, you'll see how fun it is. I'm sorry, Dia, but that is never happening. <laughs> Surprise, motherfuckers! Oh, we're doing this? The cake must be ready now. Surprise! Happy birthday, Frenchman! Surprise. We put together a party for you. Oh, you... you what? Noelle's lost for words. You, uh... uh you shouldn't have. Shut the fuck up. You're not the boss of me. <laughs> <laughs> I see there's no need for me to add any extra here. Mincia <laughs> will take care of it for me. Thank you, Min. It's it's my birthday, right? So shouldn't I have some say here? Anyway, I haven't said anything about not liking it. She grimaces like there's something disgusting in her mouth. I sincerely appreciate you all doing this. Oh, I like this. Go on. There is nothing more to go on to. That was all. It was nice while it lasted. Come inside. We baked you a cake. You did? <laughs> we are not going to get through this. I'm going to have to keep stopping every, like, two rhymes and just be... Oh, God. What kind of save was this? <laughs> What's that red squiggly under it? A heart monitor? Why does it look like it's flatlining toward the end, huh? It's hard to control the icing, okay? And this was all Akarsha's fault in the first place. My fault? All I did was drive the train off the rails. You were the one who crashed it. Driving off the rails still sounds like a pretty big mistake. Oh, yeah. Well, ultimately, this is Noelle's fault for being born. Who's the real culprit now? Huh, good point. Oh, you know what? Let's go with that. Good point. <laughs> we won two against one. Democracy. U.S.A. Oh, that takes on a bitter tone. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> Once everyone's had a slice of cake, Akarsha brings everyone to the living room. This was originally going to be a sleepover, but I think some of your parents would have said no. Dia nods. My mom's never let me go to one before. She's worried it'll turn me lesbian. Bad, bad, bad news. <laughs> ba bad news, but <laughs> too bad for her. I already did. Yeah. Akarsha, I'm surprised your parents let us come over unsupervised at all. Uh, they trust me. They should be back any minute now anyway. They're in San Ramon watching my bro's red belt test for Taekwondo. It must be taking longer than they thought. Test? I didn't realize you had to pass formal examinations to advance to Taekwondo. Yeah, you gotta memorize forms and stuff. I've never seen them fail anyone, though. Anyway, us being home alone means we can go buck wild. We're about to throw the party of a lifetime, Frenchman. Akarsha crouches at the foot of the TV and turns the GameCube on. Yes! This is how you party circa 2008. <laughs> Mario Golf, baby. Although I guess you should really have a Wii at this point, but still. <laughs> Golf? Are you sure Noel will like that? I don't know what you're talking about. Mario Golf is the best game in the world. I only have two controllers, though. 
I usually just play against my bro. Noelle should get to play first because it's her birthday. Yeah, and the rest of us should take turns playing against her. Won't that feel like everyone is ganging up against me, though? Nonsense. You're getting the maximal amount of fun here, Frenchman. Akarsha hands Noelle one of the controllers. Min grabs the other one and curls up on the couch with Dia. Akarsha, this better not be like your copy of Melee. You didn't even have any of the characters unlocked except for Marth. <laughs> Wait, what are the unlocked conditions for Marth? <laughs> I gotta know what that says. What that says about Akarsha. <laughs> so you unlock Marth by using all 14 starter characters in classic mode, versus mode, or adventure mode. You don't have to complete a playthrough. So notably, this means that Akarsha has not completed classic mode or adventure mode with any character. <laughs> has not cleared 100 band melee. Has not completed classic mode or adventure mode with 10 characters. Well, obviously not. Has not completed event matches up through at least 29. Has not played versus mode for more than 20 hours. <laughs> oh no! The car should turn it on like twice. <laughs> Who needs Falcon or whatever when Captain Falcon is right there? Same thing, really. Uh, you mean Falco? There's no fucking character called Falcon. Jeez, calm yourself. I unlocked everything this time. See? Oh my god. Sorry, I'm having a moment. So this was my Mario Golf game growing up. And <laughs> I'm having a moment. <laughs> successfully pixelated so that it doesn't count, right? <laughs> right? Min, choose Wario. We're team Wario. Why would I choose Wario? Don't you trust me? I, I guess. Whatever. I suppose I'll be this pink princess here. Akarsha glances over at Noelle. She's placed her controller flat on the sofa and is pressing down on the buttons like she's playing piano. What are you doing? Shut up! I can address the control stick with greater precision like this. Noelle pinches the control stick between her thumb and index finger like a crab with a pebble between its pinchers. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Oh my god, why are you like a grandma who's never seen a video game before? Min selects a dark, lava-ridden course. An animation panning to the stage's first hole plays on screen. Wait, that one looks difficult. I don't even know how to play any of this yet. Sink or sizzle, Frenchman. That doesn't sound like something you should be saying to someone on her birthday, huh? Noelle hastily mashes buttons at random on her controller. Her character manages to hit the golf ball safely across a lava pit. Oh, so it's just luck then, huh? It's not luck, it's physics. Big words from someone who was protesting she didn't know how to play ten seconds ago. After a few swings, Min successfully puts her golf ball into the first hole. The words bogey appear on screen. The fuck is a bogey? How should I know? Aren't you and Dia the sports enthusiasts around here? I like real sports, not fake old people sports like golf. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> wow, calling... Calling golf a fake old person sport. Someone, <laughs> someone hasn't watched Birdie Wing colon Golf Girl Story. God damn it, you beat me to making a reference to it. I've been watching through that right now. It is strange, but I'm enjoying it. <laughs> Noelle finishes the hole with a triple bogey. On screen, Princess Peach collapses and shakes her head, devastated. Ha ha ha. Loser. You shut your goddamn mouth. Sorry. Min hands Dia the controller for the next hole, kissing her adoringly on the cheek as she does. Dia furrows her brows, considering her options. Uh... Dia launches her ball straight into the lava. <laughs> At last, my chance to make a comeback. I'm weaker today because I'm not Luigi. If you insist. Noelle immediately hits her ball into the lava too. Nah! I can't wait to see your face when we play Monopoly <laughs> Akarsha, later. Akarsha, your party games are the worst. <laughs> We're playing Monopoly? Why? What, you don't like it? There's no skill involved. It's pure luck. Silence, demon. It's fun to fantasize about owning property someday. <laughs> you're not. You're not wrong. The game wasn't even designed to be fun. It was created to educate people on the dangers of capitalism. But I like collecting the deed cards. They're such nice colors. <laughs> Noelle, let's make a deal. If you win the next hole against me, we won't play Monopoly. 
How is that fair? You've played Mario Golf countless times before. Hey, I've only tried this course once or twice, honest. Noelle ponders this as Dia hits her golf ball straight into the lava for the third time. Fine. Deal. Oh no, I roasted my golf ball again. After countless attempts, Noelle manages to complete the hole first. <laughs> Yay, you win. It's a good thing your athleticism doesn't translate to skill at sports games. Dia puts the ball into the hole with her next swing. She passes the controller to Akarsha. Your turn. Dia totally <laughs> just let Noelle win. I was going to say, I'm pretty sure that's what happened there, right? Unfortunately for Frenchmen, I don't believe in going easy on the birthday girl. I'm pulling out all the stops. The words press A to skip appear as the animation showing the next hole begins to play. <laughs> Accidentally press A. Akarsha presses A to skip the animation before it can reveal the hole's location. You cut it off early. Whoopsie daisy, I got too impatient. Akarsha, where's the hole? I wonder. You worthless scammer. Akarsha smugly puts her ball, but it rolls smoothly into the lava. No. No. Ah. Uh. Serves you right. Noel tries to set up a trick shot against a wall. Whoa, geometry. Be quiet, I'm concentrating. Noel hits the ball with a measured swing. Instead of glancing off the wall, the intended angle just ricochets back the way it came. Well done, Noel. You're back where you started. I hate you, you scumbag. I still don't even know where the hole is. Watch and learn, my friend. Akarsha actually- Check out my blue bullet. <laughs> oh my god. I mean, to be fair, that I feel like that anime is suitably gay for, for, <laughs> for, for reference here. That is fair. That is fair. Akarsha expertly angles her shot so the golf ball rolls up a hill, then drops straight into the hole. And that's how it's done. My days playing this stage against my bro have finally paid off. Days? You said you only played this stage once or twice. Noelle scowls, but Akarsha can tell from the way the corners of her mouth crinkle that she's fighting back a grin. You liar. What do you have to say for yourself? This isn't golf. This is just hitting a ball with a stick. <laughs> this is just hitting a ball with a stick really hard for money. <laughs> or in this case, the right to play Monopoly. <laughs> huh? Suddenly I can't hear. My ears are failing. Hello? Hello? Akarsha! Wario slaps his butt as the words par appear on screen. See, this is why Mario Golf is the best game in the world. Noelle turns away so Akarsha can't see her face, but by now she's shaking with barely suppressed laughter. I win. I broke her. <laughs> I am going to beat the living daylights out of you. Akarsha yelps as Noelle pelts her with slaps. Help! Murder! Murder! So, Monopoly? You got it. Ha! <laughs> I got Boardwalk. Welcome to my Santa Cruz of death. I'm using my entire savings to pile four houses on it. Oh no, if I land on it right now, I'll go broke. Well, chances are you won't. Unloading all your money on a single property is pure folly in this early in the game. Dia rolls the dice and breathes, rolls the dice and breathes a sigh of relief when she safely passes Akarsha's killer boardwalk tile. After a few spaces, her dog token lands on Min's property. She begins to shell out the rent, but Min stops her. <laughs> you don't have to pay me. <gasps> huh? I... I... I don't... It's my house, so I'm in charge. You can stay there for free. Hmm. Not so fast. That isn't allowed. When you land on a property owned by another player, the owner has to collect rent from you. Karsha flips open the rulebook and pretends to adjust an imaginary pair of glasses on her face. Actually, it says here... The owner may not collect the rent if he or she fails to ask for it before the second player following throws the dice. That's so confusingly worded. Basically, it's saying if the owner doesn't ask for rent, the renter doesn't have to pay it. Ha! So Dia can sleep at my house, huh? What kind of buffoon penned these rules? If the renter and owner are in cahoots, the other players are at a disadvantage. Unless the odd ones out form an alliance to counter it, too. Hmm. Wanna be in cahoots with me, Frenchman? Not a chance. Don't say I didn't ask ya. You'll be singing a different tune once you land on my killer boardwalk. Noelle's phone buzzes, and her face pales when she checks it. Oh, great. What's wrong? I told my mom I'd text her when we got to Akarsha's house. 
but I was having so much fun it completely slipped my mind. Akarsha catches a glimpse of Noelle's phone screen. It is filled with panicked texts from her mom. Uh, are you having, uh, who wants to be Akarsha or uh, Noelle mom? Are you having fun? Hello? Hello, Noelle. How are you doing? I mean, I meant not doing, not, I meant not doing, not doting. You may consider to call us when you can. Is everything okay? Where are you? You said you would text us, and it's been almost two hours. How come you're not picking up your phone? We're about to call the police. Jesus! There's four missed calls, too. I think we were all shouting so much, I didn't hear any of them. Dia jumps in surprise as her cell phone starts ringing. She stares at it with trepidation before fe fearfully pressing it to her good ear. Uh. Dia frantically hands Noelle the phone like it's a hot potato. All right, I'll deal with it. Noelle answers the phone and leaves the room with a sigh. Akarsha can faintly hear her side of a frustrating conversation. A few minutes later, she returns to the group, her face sour. We've cleared up the misunderstanding. I'll let them, I let them know I'll be here for a few more hours. I'm sorry my mom called you, Dia. That was humiliating. It's okay. Good thing she didn't report you missing yet. I know she means well, but it's honestly irritating how often she wildly overreacts to harmless situations. She has no friends or hobbies, so all her brain power is spent on obsessing over me. Sorry we got you in trouble. It's not your fault. You couldn't have known. I should have remembered to text her once I arrived at your house. Noelle's joints crick as she sits back down at the Monopoly board between Dia and Akarsha. It's just me or all the cool kids at our school just the ones whose parents let them do the most stuff? Yeah, it's the girls who are allowed to wear makeup and hang out with their friends all the time. That's not always true. My parents are pretty chill, but I'm still uncool. I'm just unpopular because I'm weird. Don't forget perverted and annoying. I would like to add that you're a compulsive liar. Jeez, wow. I didn't realize everyone had their own theories for why I'm not popular. We got them here in our book. <laughs> we started... A we have a group chat about you. <laughs> a few turns of Monopoly later, Akarsha moves her top hat token to the Reading Railroad. Whose is this? Mine. Dia, bro me, please. I have a starving family and eight children at home. <laughs> Unimpressed Dia face. $25 handed over. You're murdering the babes, Dia. How about $24? Just $1 can save a life. I like how since we found out it was possible not to pay rent, this turned into Akarsha begging and haggling with everyone to not charge her. Wait, Dia, I'll roll you for it. Double or nothing. So now this is a casino? Dia assesses the thick stack of Monopoly money she's accumulated from not having to pay rent on Mint's property. <laughs> okay, I'll try my luck. Dia shakes the dice in her hands and drops them onto the board. With a clatter, she got... 11. 11? That's gonna be tough to beat. Well, let's roll the dice. Holding her breath, Akarsha rolls the dice. Ha! <laughs> 12! Winner! I live another day. You're so annoying. I hope your next turn kills you. If I'm so annoying, why do you keep hanging out with me? Because I love to watch you fail. It's Noelle's turn. She rolls a 12. Noelle only moves her iron token a couple of spaces before she starts to lose it. That's how Akarsha knows she's landed on Boardwalk. Uh-oh, SpaghettiOs. Shut up! You don't need to rub it in. She nearly knocks over all the houses. Akarsha's piled up on the space as she slams her token down. How much is it? Oh, only $1,700. To Akarsha's amazement, Noelle dissolves into laughter on the couch. Actual honest-to-God laughter. Dang, I gotta figure out how to do that again. As Min rolls next, Akarsha hears the sound of the front door opening. Oh, they're finally back from Taekwondo. Her little brother runs into the living room, wildly swinging his new red belt in the air like a whip. <laughs> <laughs> That's a really good sprite. That's a really good sprite. Ow, Zambimaru! He flails his red belt, whapping the floor, couch, and everything else within a three-foot radius of him. Ow, ow! This is my bro, Pratik. He's basically me, but a guy. I see you passed your test. A voice booms through the house from the garage. <laughs> Who, who's dad? Betty, help carry groceries in. We stopped by Costco and bought nachos for the party. Yeah. Should we help them with that? 
Nah, he's talking to me. Be my guest, relax. No, I insist. It's my birthday you're going through the trouble for, right? Fine. Hard to argue with that. Frenchman, let's go. Akarsha hastily stuffs her socked feet into her mom's sandals and waddles into the garage with Noelle in tow. Is Pratik your only sibling? Nah, I have a big sis too. But she's like way older. She's in medical school already. That is a lot older, yeah. I was definitely an accident, but I think I was so awesome that it reminded my parents how cool kids are, and then they made my bro on purpose. That is... <laughs> that is far too much information. So your sister intends to become a doctor, huh? A neurosurgeon. Like, good for her, but it's almost kind of frustrating how perfect she turned out. She's just as bad as you. I can't even say my parents have unrealistic expectations because my sister actually met them. Akarsha's dad walks over from the trunk of the minivan with an armful of groceries. Oh God, what is he wearing? God bless USA is what it says on there and it's got an eagle on it. Oh, this is the birthday girl. Thanks God you're here. My dad always says thanks God instead of thank God. I don't know why. Well, it's my surprise party, so I don't have much choice in the matter now, do I? Gosh, she said you don't like surprises. You might go home already. Like my co-worker Carrot last week when we threw her a retirement party. She only stayed for half an hour. Your co-worker is called Carrot? Dad, her name is Karen. I really hope you weren't calling her that at the office. Akarsha's dad tries to clear a path through the heap of shoes by the garage door. Meanwhile, Akarsha and Noelle each grab a couple of grocery bags from the trunk. Your dad looks very, um, patriotic. Yeah, he thinks being American is really cool, so he likes to buy stuff with eagles and flags on it sometimes. I see. Is he really into politics? No, my parents don't know anything about politics. Every election, they have one of them vote for the Republican candidate, while the other one votes for the Democrats. They cancel each other out. Why do they bother voting if they don't care who wins? They just want to feel included, I guess? It's pretty silly. Akarsha's mom smiles at Noelle as she steps out from the passenger seat. Oh my god, she was sitting in the car the whole time, fixing her hair and reapplying her lipstick. No one cares, mom. I'm sorry we're late. We thought we'd be back before everyone came. It's that stupid GPS's fault. It wanted us to go on all these strange routes. If you just followed its directions all the way, it probably would have been faster. No, I could predict where there'd be traffic on the 680. I would know. I've lived here 20 years. Speaking of driving, I have a great idea for an invention. Cars should zap bad drivers. Zap? As in, with electricity? Oh, just through the steering wheel. Not enough to kill him, but enough to hurt. Steal my parking spot? Yeah! <laughs> Akarsha's dad mimes being shocked with electricity. I like Akarsha's dad. <laughs> Akarsha's dad is pretty great, honestly. Dad, oh my god, stop <laughs> it. You can see where she gets it. Yeah. With all due respect, that sounds like a terrible idea. Oh, but everyone learned so fast. Has it Akarsha told you I'm a genius? Her smarts run in the family. <laughs> I should pat my car zapper along with my telephone idea. Telephone idea? It's the same thing, except the telephone shocks telemarketers. I'm dubious the patent office will approve either of those. Oh, what? Do you think it's a great idea? Hello, will you buy our product? Oh! <laughs> <laughs> I've been shocked. <laughs> Akarsha's dad shakes his arm as if being shocked again as he walks into the house. <clears throat> What's wrong with you? Akarsha's mom follows him inside with an exasperated expression on her face. <laughs> Finally, they're gone. I thought I was going to die of embarrassment. Noelle is still staring after Akarsha's dad, fascinated. Your dad is such a character. He's so outgoing. Oh, yeah. He loves talking so much. He never shuts up. I feel like this explains a lot about you. Really? Like, what? I see where you get your sense of humor from now. Huh? No, my jokes are totally different. Uh-huh, you can't deny that there are some similarities. From my observation, parents have a lot of influence on their kids' personalities. No way, I'm way funnier than my dad. I'm an enigma, you'll never figure me out. Actually, I think I already have. For instance, your worst fear is earnestly trying at something and failing. So even though you're perfectly intelligent, you use your goofy disposition to preemptively make a fool of yourself on purpose. I do not? Give me an example. When we play Monopoly, you sink all your funds into Boardwalk. When we play poker, you eat your cards. <laughs> when we play Banjo... 
<laughs> when we play baseball, you clutch your head and claim that you're having a psychic brain attack. Hey, I just like providing fun for the whole family. I doubt that's it. This extends to every facet of how you present yourself to the world. You're insecure about your appearance, so you go out in this outlandish hairdo with this windbreaker and flip-flops out. Fit. You're worried people won't like you, so you act like a circus clown. Rather than risk rejection, you set yourself up for failure to feel in control of the situation. What the? I feel weirdly exposed? You're one to talk about fear of failure, miss. I argue with the teacher that my multiple choice answer was technically also right. I would contend that makes me more adept at sensing that trait in others. Sweating profusely, Akarsha lets out a nervous laugh. Her read on me is scarily accurate? No one's ever seen through me like this before. How much attention is she paying to me? Usually you don't watch someone that closely unless you like them. Unless? Akarsha watches Noelle closely as they haul the food inside. She can't help but grin as Noelle ascends the garage's concrete steps with the grace of a vacuum cleaner. Suddenly Noelle turns to her and gives her an unreadable look. Hmm. What? Akarsha's heart skips a beat as Noelle reaches out to her windbreaker sleeve and plucks something for the fabric. There was a grain of rice stuck to your jacket. It was bothering me. <laughs> Noelle holds up the offending grain of rice between her fingers. Oh, that's an accessory. <laughs> Put it back. <laughs> Akarsha feels a jolt of euphoria as Noelle rolls her eyes and lets the corner of her mouth quirk up for the briefest moment. Ah, oh, shit. No. Not this shit again. No. Gay. <laughs> Akarsha daydreams about Noelle as she uses one of the library's computers. I am so fucked. I can't stop thinking about her. We haven't even known each other for a whole year yet, but she already knows so much about me. I bet we're closer than a lot of couples who really are dating. She can tell when I'm about to say something annoying before I even open my mouth. She knows I have a big sister, which is like a rare Akarsha fact because she's so much older than me. <laughs> SSR rarity, a Karsha fact. <laughs> Heck, she's met my parents already. That's a couple thing, right? What the heck are you doing? Uh, yearning? <laughs> oh, yeah, I get that. Ah. I do that a lot, too. <laughs> you scared me. I don't know why I decided that this is where Mincio's voice is going, but you know what? Fuck it. Fuck it. <laughs> I said hi, like, twice. You must really be out of it. I was just focused on the computer. Akarsha points to the screen to try to sell her point. I'm editing my report card in MS Paint. I intercepted it before my parents checked the mail yesterday. Watch this. On the computer, Akarsha photoshops her B plus in English to an A minus. <laughs> A minus? Why not just change it to an A plus? Uh, nah, A minus is more realistic. Now I just gotta print this out. Don't tell anyone I did this, okay? Who do you think I am, Noel? You're not even changing your actual grades. You're not really cheating. You're right. I'm just cheating my parents' brains. Mind hack. Akarsha pulls her new and improved report card from the tray. It's still warm for the machinery like fresh laundry. I'll do your report, co report card too if you give me $20. Mm, nah, I can't be bothered. I don't care what my parents think. Wow, you're not worried about disappointing them? Why should I be? They don't seem that worried about disappointing me. Got him. Dude. That's deep. High five this. Even though Min gets horrifying grades, she's pretty smart in some other ways. She did manage to get together with Dia after all. Maybe she has tips for this kind of thing. Actually, can I ask you a question? Yeah, what? Hypothetically, if you had a crush on a friend, what would you do? Oh, uh, you have a crush? <laughs> Who is it? I can't tell you. It's embarrassing. Someone I know? Seriously, I'm not telling you. No one can know. Is it Dia? What? No, I'm not trying to get my throat slit by you. Is it... me? <laughs> no, but no more questions. I'm not exposing myself. But I'm into being a love expert or whatever when I was trying to kiss Dia, huh? Why don't you just follow your own shitty advice? Admittedly, it's easier said than done. Look, it's exactly like what you guys said when I was on that date. Don't overthink it, all right? Just be straightforward and tell them how you feel. You sure? They don't feel the same way. This could end up destroying our friendship. Yeah, just do it. You can even try one of those stupid fucking pickup lines to keep practicing on my girlfriend. 
Okay, okay, I promise I'll stop doing that for real. I just feel like hitting on my crush directly is a massive risk, though. Well, it worked out for me. You'll never know unless you try it, right? It's the worst thing that could happen. They reject you? Getting rejected is a huge deal. It'll make everything so awkward. I mean, yeah, but that's just a risk you gotta take, right? You don't get it. This isn't just me being paranoid. This has literally happened to me before. None of you went to the same middle school as me, so you don't know. Not only did my crush start avoiding me, but she told the rest of our friend group, and they stopped talking to me too. What the? Th uh, that sucks. Yeah, no kidding. I try not to think about it much. Well, that won't happen this time. Even if it blows up in your face, you still have me, Dia, and Noelle. <laughs> right, obviously. <laughs> yeah! The bell rings. Nah, being direct about it still feels too risky. I'm not even sure Noelle likes girls. Heck, I've... Never seen her express any kind of attraction to anyone at all. Is she just hella repressed? In any case, I don't want to embarrass myself. The only safe way to do this is to seduce Noelle <laughs> so hard, she's compelled to confess to me first. <laughs> Garsha, you're making a lot of expressions, and I can tell you right off the bat, none of them, none of what you're thinking right now is going to result in anything good. <laughs> That way, if it doesn't work, I can write off all the flirting as a joke. There's no way this can go wrong. Use the mouse to interact. Ah! Right, I gotta interact. Examine bookshelves. I can't use my gauntlet for this part. Oh, wait, can I? I can! <gasps> I can use my gauntlet to do this. I'm doing this with my gauntlet. But can you select the, the thing? Oh! Uh uh, uh, that's a great question. Can I? I can't. Ah, oh, well. Hmm, unfortunate. I'm still learning how to best use this thing. Min crosses her arms as Akarsha browses through the shelves. I fucking hate libraries. What? What's there to hate about libraries? It's free books? Well, I guess the books are okay, but the librarians are the worst. Why? It's one time when I was like seven, I looked up a bunch of bad words at the school's library computer. The librarian saw my search history and got me banned from there for a month. What words did you look up? Just a bunch of swears I was curious about, like, damn, and fuck. Remember I searched middle finger, too. I love that you thought middle finger was a bad word. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I was so innocent as a kid. <laughs> I'm not sure innocent is the right word. You sure? Let's go here. Is Noelle still fake tutoring you to trick your parents into letting you out of the house? She actually tutors me for real sometimes. Wow, really? I haven't failed a single test since we started. She looks so proud, but not getting an F is a super low hurdle. <gasps> it's a low hurdle and I cleared it. All right, protect your hearing. Mid nods and covers her ears as Akarsha walks through the library scanners by the door. The book scanner alarms go off. The librarian looks up, sees that it's Akarsha and patiently waves her through. <laughs> <laughs> that seriously happens every single time you walk through the scanners? You sure you don't have any library books on you? Of course. There's even a photo of me taped by the door now, because after the first few times they searched me, they confirmed I don't have any. It almost feels like my backpack is haunted by the ghost of a library book. How would that even happen? Pissed off any books lately? No, unless maybe Noelle counts as a book. <laughs> so if it's similar to how they do it in like bookstores, right? They have just electronic tags. Yeah. So... Thing is, some of those could be really difficult to fucking get off once they're stuck on there if they're one of like the really permanent ones. Mm -hmm. So if you have one just stuck like underneath a fold in your bag somewhere, you're never gonna find it. It's never gonna come off. <laughs> <laughs> and because I annoy her daily, the books are mad at me. Are you hearing how crazy you sound right now? Yeah, I'm embarrassed I even said that out loud. It's probably just one of those things, like my magic rosin. You're what? Never mind, forget I mentioned it. No, 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 no. You're talking to me about this. So I want to hear about the magic rosin. <laughs> uh, turn to the school library. Why would we want to go back there? Go to know. the bathroom, look at the locker room. Let's look at the locker room. I don't have gym until later in the day, and the baseball club doesn't meet till after school. By the way, our baseball team is called... <laughs> <laughs> the Death Bagels! <laughs> Death Bagels. <laughs> Global Warming! <laughs> The Death Bagels. You want to be Death Bagels? All right. <laughs> that name was Dia and Min's idea. Personally, I think it sounds pretty corny. 
Right now, I need to go to first period and terrorize Noelle. Ah, the public school girls' restroom. Possibly the most disgusting place on earth. Fair point. Alright, I'm ahead to class now. <laughs> Adios, bitch. She's probably gonna go find Dia now. I feel like she's chilled out a lot since they started dating. I guess knifing people is less exciting than kissing your girlfriend. Yeah, wouldn't you like to know? <laughs> Eavesdrop on classmates, huh? Hmm. I hate how my parents yell at me for studying late at night. If I slept early instead of cramming, I'd probably fail. Then I get yelled at for not studying. Oh, that's so gay. At our school, it's really popular to say gay when you mean stupid or uncool. So you hear it all the time. Whenever people don't like something, they go, that's so gay. I I still hear this from time to time with like younger, with with some like very young folks. Mm. But like it, it's more or less seem to have died down as, you know, being gay is more commonly accepted. Now if someone calls you gay, it's because they literally mean that you are being homosexual. <laughs> Which I guess is a step up. I I feel like we're in a weird spot where we have both moved away from the casual that's so gay and moved towards more open homophobia and transphobia at the same time. Yeah. So I don't know that I'd necessarily say the direction is so it's much a better. lateral move. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But I, 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 I definitely don't hear it as often as just like, oh, that's gay, meaning like, oh, that's silly or I don't like that, you know? Mm. Yeah, it, that, that has definitely fallen out of favor, which is good, as it should. I forgot the classroom says big on it. It's B16, but <laughs> big. How is it that everyone else has bomb ass hair while mine's all sad and thin? What happened? Gene catastrophe. Can we look at our reflection again? The other day I saw my side profile in a photo and was like, ugh, I really go around looking like that all day? I wish I could get plastic surgery. What? Oh no. That me. Fair enough. <laughs> Let's <laughs> you look one more time just to say that, that me. me. Noelle and Dia aren't here yet. I managed to set up a special surprise the other day. Hopefully everything's still in place. A few minutes later, a car should look through the window. Outside, Noelle and Dia are approaching the classroom. Yes. Come, my here, my sweet. Suddenly, a water bottle whizzes through the open door and hits the floor with a loud smack and rolls across the classroom until it hits the wall. Ah? Uh? <sighs> so it's not saran wrap today. <laughs> Noelle appears to... <laughs> This is Akarsha's peak, like, picking on someone because you like them. <laughs> Noelle peers suspiciously into the classroom from the doorway. She experimentally reaches one hand inside and feels along the door frame, apparently searching for abnormalities. What's wrong, Frenchman? Afraid to come in? What did you do this time? What makes you think I did anything? Maybe the fact that you've done something every morning this month. Two against one. Cheater. Cheater. That's what you get, you worthless pest. That's even funnier with the earlier two against one. Democracy. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> yeah, it is. Dia retrieves the sacrificial water bottle. Meanwhile, Noelle haltingly walks to her desk with an arm outstretched ahead of her, bracing for all manner of assault, whether it be liquid, solid, gaseous, or psychological in form. <laughs> After thoroughly inspecting her desk, she apprehensively sits. <sighs> hmm. After a few tense seconds, Noelle seems satisfied that the act of sitting down didn't trigger anything. Breathing a sigh of relief, she hefts a bulky laptop from her messenger bag. <laughs> yes! She didn't notice the extra wireless mouse USB I plugged into her computer last Friday! <laughs> That's actually smart, though! <laughs> I have the mouse hidden in my pocket. Dia takes a thin plastic folder from her backpack and flops it back and forth so it makes a <laughs> sound. Hmm. <laughs> Dia really enjoys the fucking sound. Yeah. <laughs> don't worry. Don't worry. I get you. I get you. <laughs> Did you work on the PowerPoint? I added a slide on sharks and dolphins as another example of convergent evolution. Noelle scrolls to the side and slide in question. It's a solid wall of text with no images. This is going to put everyone to sleep. 
You know, you ever think about how they made us do a presentation so often as a kid to show that you had learned a thing, and yet they never spent any time on like, here are best practices for doing a presentation? Yeah. Like even just once be like, yeah, just, you don't need to put everything like, cause you're fucking kids, right? No one knows how to do this. Mm -hmm. Just like, just have, take them aside at one point and be like, yeah, so when you're making a slide, just have it be like a picture that illustrates what you're talking about and have the stuff you want to say written down on your cards. That'll make it that, just say that, <laughs> just say that so much. And, and if you happen to have just got saved a lot of time, you're welcome. That said, <laughs> doing presentations and PowerPoints and shit, unexpectedly clutch skill. Yeah, being able to do a presentation well is certainly a, a weird, a weird, it's weirdly uncommon. And even if not doing a presentation with a PowerPoint specifically, getting more accustomed to speaking in front of a group, being able to teach a thing in a way that is broken down into small chunks. Right. It's one of those things that's like, you think of it as the useless school thing you're never gonna do again, and you probably don't do a PowerPoint again unless you do, like I do. Um, but uh, I think back on it, it's like, damn, I use this shit more than trigonometry. Yep, yep. Like, in and every like being job. Able to, like, <laughs> Being able to take a thought or a premise or something and consolidate it into a teachable <clears throat> form, right? That is like a legitimately useful skill. But <sighs> anyway, people still use Hyper Studio. Remember that shit? What the fuck is a Hyper Studio? Did you ever have that? What is a Hyper Studio? So, so when I was a kid and we were doing our presentations, right? Uh, we'd all use Hyper Studio, which is a program that lets you put together. Let's, I guess it must have been like a fake website. Come to think of it, like what the UI they had to do, it must that must have been what it was doing. Had you put together like a fake website thing that you could then scroll through and then like, we used it in place of PowerPoint. The cool kids used PowerPoint once you figured out how to use it, but all the youngins used Hyper Studio. Hyper Studio, Hyper Studio. Was it a Mac thing? I don't think so. All the computers we used were uh, Windows. Huh. This isn't super important. This is really important. It's not. It's not. We're in the middle of a, th a is scene. Is fucking thing? Oh God, yeah. Huh? It's that shit. I've never seen that shit in my life. Oh yeah, it was all. It was. It was the hot shit in our school. Huh? Anyway, Noelle's so confident that she's good at public speaking, but she has zero charisma or self-awareness. She just drones on and on forever, oblivious that she lost the audience ten minutes ago. Oh, <laughs> I love her. Couldn't be us. <laughs> Wait, I already made a slide about that. Swimming. Dia scrolls to the previous slide. It features a photo of dozens of fish and dolphins swimming in the ocean, cryptically captioned. <laughs> good shape. Good shape. Very good shape. Good shape. <laughs> I hate to break this to you, Dia, but literally no one but you is going to understand this. <laughs> I'm just imagining the absolutely horrific PowerPoint the two of them have cooked up, where it's like alternating info dump slides containing an entire short story and slides that are just a collage of unrelated images with a caption that makes no oh sense. My God. And I want to see this PowerPoint. I love it. Please put the PowerPoint in <laughs> as shape. bonus materials. I'll buy the game a second time if you show me the PowerPoint. <sighs> Jiggle the cursor or close the PowerPoint presentation. Uh, let's let's uh, let's not close. Let's, just, it. let's jig just jiggle the cursor. A cursor jiggles the mouse in her pocket as Noelle tries to edit the slide. Hmm. What was that? What was what? Didn't you see it? The cursor just jerked on its own. Maybe it's lag. I bet it's because you typed too many words on one slide. Even Bill Gates didn't see this coming. I can't- that can't be it. I fit more words than this on one slide before. <laughs> <laughs> Dia looking extremely worried. You have? Noelle moves the mouse again. This time, Akarsha does nothing. Uh, looks fine to me. How strange. While Noelle is busy typing an essay length caption, Akarsha clicks another text box so she's editing the wrong part of the slide. See? There it is again! What is going on? You've been hacked, Noel. Don't tell me. You fell for those pop-ups advertising hot single ladies in your area? As if! Look, it's moving on its own again. 
Noelle clenches her mouse harder, as if that'll help her regain control of the rogue cursor. Akarsha makes a drift toward the control panel. <laughs> Akarsha wiggles the mouse in her pocket. Dia's eyes flicker to the movement of the fabric on Akarsha's windbreaker. <laughs> <laughs> I, I fucking love Dia. Her expressions are just... Oh, she says so much with so little. I fucking love it. I love this sprite. Disappointed. <laughs> Disappointed. Make that make that an emote. Oh my god, that's a Discord emote in the making. <laughs> oh shit. Oh no. Dia grabs Akarsha's wrist and yanks it out of the pocket, revealing the wireless mouse in her hand. <laughs> it was you. Wait, I just happened to have a mouse in my pocket. There's no proof this is connected at all. Dia wrenches the mouse from Akarsha's hand, but not before Akarsha uses her precious final moments to click on the control panel and change the mouse speed to the... <laughs> <laughs> Pathetic. I can revert your changes within moments. You sure about that? Why don't you go ahead and try it? Noelle tries to navigate back to the control panel. The cursor itches across the screen so slowly, the movement is barely perceptible. Akarsha! <laughs> Akarsha! The bell rings. This concludes Noelle and Akarsha's daily morning screen <laughs> Man, that was always that was the hot shit. That was the hot way to prank people in school. Oh yeah. Dude, my favorite, my favorite, and this God, was this Windows 95? I used to like to um screenshot the desktop. And then remove the taskbar and all of the icons. <laughs> oh, no. And I would do it on. Oh, no. I would get to class. I got really quick at it and I would get to class early and do it to every computer in the classroom <laughs> <laughs> and then go do something else. <laughs> oh, no. Why would you do that? You were such a shit. <laughs> wow. Wow. That is menacing. <laughs> Once everyone is seated, the morning announcements play over the intercom. <laughs> and doing it for everyone in the classroom, that's so extra. <laughs> See, I would have picked one and just left it at that, but always make it like a different one every day. So that way it's just like something where there's always something wrong, but then no one really gets enough of a head about it to figure out. See, we only had three then. It wasn't oh. an everybody gets a computer type situation. Yet. Got it, got it, got it, got so, it. It was the sort of thing where, like, enough enough effort to fuck up three computers. That's fine. Mm, That's fine. Okay, it doesn't okay. take too long. I was th yeah, because when I was in like middle school, we we were one of those schools that had a fancy schmancy computer lab. Mm. Yo, oh, yeah, we had we had the room where there was like twenty computers in it, and that was hot <laughs> shit. Let me tell you. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> uh, the first doctor sessions for senior vlog is today after school. The gym. Don't forget your t-shirt order forms. <laughs> Our school has this tradition where the seniors do a bangra dance at the end of Multicultural Week. Guess that means we'll get to see Krissa and Liz dance. That doesn't sound like that significant of a difference. Our school may not have a football or baseball team anymore, but it does have hella new clubs popping up all the time. You telling me there's no more baseball in this game? The Studio Key fan in me is gonna <laughs> is gonna freak out. Let me tell you. It's because everyone wants to be able to put founder and president on their college apps. Come to think of it, didn't Krissa and Liz start the baseball club during application season? No way. Well, good for them. Even if they had ulterior motives, it's been fun. This Valentine's Day, the Muslim Student Association is kicking off their annual roast fundraiser. The Valentine's will deliver a roast to your special solo with a message of your choice. You can even rank it a bouquet for 20 bucks. Order forms will be distributed at third period today. <laughs> like anybody's getting me one of those. Akarsha surreptitiously, surreptitiously ground plant. Hi. Hello. How are you doing? <laughs> Akarsha surreptitiously glances at Noelle, who is sitting beside her. To her surprise, Noelle is listening to the intercom as intently as if she were being graded on it. Wait, maybe this is my chance. 
I should act really pitifully down about being single and drop hints that getting a rose would make me happy. After seeing the love of her life, parentheses, me, in such a miserable state, Noelle will feel guilty that she hasn't gotten me one. Akarsha sighs heavily and slumps in her desk. What is the matter with you? I always feel the worst about being single on holidays where I have no one to celebrate with. Like, Valentine's Day is supposed to be the happiest, most romantic time of the year, but it just reminds me of how no one's ever loved me. I bet Dia's getting roses this year. <sighs> Must be nice. What is there to envy? Flowers serve no practical purpose. They wither up within days and wind up in the garbage. What a waste of money. Of course you would think so, you uptight spoil sport. It's the thought that counts, though. I personally wish someone would send me a rose. <laughs> what, did I say something funny? Not at all. Noelle goes back to reading her mathematics puzzle book. I believe- Meta-mathematics, I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> hmm, so that didn't go as expected. Time to revisit my tactics. Improvise, adapt, overcome. After the day's usual math lesson, the teacher brings out a stack of test papers. All right, everyone, clear your deck. How come, how come the teacher still gets like the muffled voice? It's unclear. <laughs> Sometimes I panic when I can't think of a different voice to do. <laughs> Maybe we should get like a trombone and do some Foley work and make them all Charlie Brown adults. <laughs> we need, we need to like, <laughs> <laughs> we need to like get a D6 and come up with six voices for me to do. <laughs> and whenever I panic, you just roll the die and point to it. And that's the voice I do. We could do, we could do that <laughs> if it would help. I would, gen I would do that for you. <gasps> oh, what a pop quiz. You know, I should have done that, but no, it's just a camel today. Some kind of California state-based testing. Oh, thank God. I don't know what that is. The camels are these math league contests oh, we do yep. every few months. They're 30 minute tests consisting of weird problems that don't have much to do with our current course material. It's just for fun, so they don't affect our grades or anything. Did you ever do, did you ever do math league? I did something called math counts, mm. which I don't think, like, I don't, I don't know what the equivalent it is in, in other areas. I um, feel like every state has something like it, but it's always got a different yes, name. But yes, I was different. that kid that did the fucking extracurricular math stuff because I had, because that's just how I was. Me too. I honestly had fun with it. It's a fun thing, but like, meh, I don't know. Meh. <laughs> I I have no strong feelings about it either way. I guess <laughs> I thought I'd have more of a, a more of a story or a tangent to go on if I talked about it for long enough, but nope. Akarsha scans the six problems on her desk. Usually, three of the problems are freebies. You'll get right if you have a brain, and then there's two you have to think about, and one hella tough one. Better get to work. Please let me do the math problems. Damn it. I'll buy the game again if you add a mini game where you have to solve the camel. I want to do the math pro- Am I the only one that goes into a math game like, oh, or to a visual novel? Oh yeah, random math problems I get to solve for no- 999 <laughs> uh, <laughs> nine, nine has been spoiling me, let me tell you. <laughs> on the way to lunch, Akarsha, Noel, Dia, and Dia check notes on their answers. What did you all get on the last question, huh? The one about diagonal passing through the 2012 cross 2015 unit grid? I drew the whole grid the best I could. Guessed 3,800 based on that. Aghast, Noelle drops her lunchbox as she pulls it from her locker, but Dia manages to catch it before it hits the ground. You drew the grid? There were thousands of units on each side. Only roughly. I was running out of time. Had one minute left and didn't know where to start. The answer was 4,026, right? The diagonal goes through the first square at zero, zero, and then another 2,014 squares horizontally and 2,011 squares vertically. That's what I got too. Yes, if you got that, it's gotta be right. Min gives them a weird look as she joins them. The fuck is wrong with you? How excited can you get over a math problem? Clearly, you've never known the high of finding out you got the same answer as the smartest kid in the class. Noelle preens a little bit at the compliment. That's an exaggeration. No, it's not. 
no one else in our class got all six right last time. Wait, you got all six? Don't they publish your name on a list or something online when that happens? They do. Dude, that's so impressive. The most I've ever managed was five. Five is still perfectly respectable, though. It means you're better at math than the vast majority of high schoolers. And that's including all the way up to grade 12, not just our grade. Yeah, I guess so. It's seriously amazing that she's basically one of the smartest kids in the whole state. We're so different, but at the same time, there's so many ways we're alike. We're so compatible with each other. We're so perfect for each other. Min holds the door open for Dia as they walk over to their usual table. <laughs> After you, princess. Thanks. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? No, I stand by this Mincio voice. Yeah. Mincio looks like like they have a very like shit-eating grin quality <laughs> to them. But not in like a mean way. Just like that's just their vibe, right? Hmm. Min always treats Dia like this, even though Dia's strong enough to just smash a hole through the wall like the Kool-Aid man. I guess Dia finds it romantic that Min is protective of her and stuff. Maybe if I try a move like that, Noelle will fall for me. Oh yeah, look at this! A High voltage. Once they sat down, Noelle struggles to open her water bottle. Ah! Dia must not have opened it for her like usual this morning. This is my chance. Here, I got this, babe. Akarsha snatches the bottle away from Noelle and tries to open it. Ugh. Ugh. Shit. Ugh, this is surprisingly hard. And they say chivalry is dead. You disgust me. Ugh. I was just trying to help. You were smirking condescendingly as you took the bottle from me. Was not. Was too. You were smiling weird. W was I? Noelle hands the water bottle to Dia with a huff. Okay, that could have gone better. Luckily, I've got one last trick up my sleeve. Before fifth period begins, Agartha schemes at her desk. Acting sad because no one was into me didn't work, so I should try the opposite tactic. I'll make Noelle think dudes are falling for me left and right. So if she likes me, she'll be feel pressured to take action or else I'll be stolen from right under her nose. I won't be on the market for long. I'm a limited time offer. Akarsha goes over to annoy Noelle at her desk. Noelle puts down a thick tome she's reading to give Akarsha her undivided attention. Yeah? Can I tell you something? I'll allow it. I'll allow it? Who talks like that? What are you, a judge? I love you. <laughs> I love Akarsha's in her dialogue of like, ah, who does that? Ah, oh, I love her. <laughs> How could I not love her? <laughs> oh. So, yesterday, I was RPing with one of my online pals, uh, Big X, Little X, underscore, Chibi, A-Z-N, underscore, Little X, Big X, on AnimeCrazy.net, and he asked me to be his forum GF. Arsha! <laughs> I can't tell if she's doing another joke or if that's, like, her idea of what it means to be on the market. <laughs> I turned him down, of course, but I'm so popular. This happens all the time. Never mind. <laughs> Never mind. Forget I asked. Huh? She doesn't sound remotely interested. Suddenly, a sharp tremor rattles Noelle's desk. That's not me doing that. Quit shaking my desk. But I'm not shaking it? Noelle and Akarsha look at one another, then the at their violently shaking surroundings. There's a ghost? You mean an earthquake? Oh yeah, earthquake! There's a commotion as Dia and the others crawl under their desks for cover as taught by years of earthquake drills. Without thinking, Akarsha dives under Noelle's desk, leaving Noelle stumbling, sitting dumbly in her chair. Akarsha, what am I supposed to hide under now? Uh, oops, why don't you squeeze under here too? Akarsha tries to make room for Noelle as she stiffly crawls under the desk. Every single one of Noelle's joints pop as she crouches into place. They're so close, Akarsha can feel the heat radiating off of Noelle's skin. Is it just me, or is this, like, really romantic? I love that look Noelle's giving her, like, <laughs> if we die because we didn't do this properly, I'm never- I'm gonna haunt you. <laughs> nah, I'm just overthinking it. I gotta look at this objectively. Scowling, Noelle readjusts herself and brushes her hand against Akarsha's. No way. Does this mean what I think it means? She must have done that because she secretly likes me. Confirmed! <sighs> I think it stopped. Noelle clamors back to her feet in a hurry. I can't believe you! I could have perished because of your selfishness. But she didn't! Talk about a win-win situation! 
What are the odds of an earthquake happening right as we were talking to each other? Maybe it's a sign from the universe that we're soulmates. I mean, think about it. What's more likely? That this was a co coincidence? Or that the world revolves around me and it's trying to tell me something? It's obviously the second one. Akarsha comes home giddy with the private connection that Noelle likes her back. Conviction that Noelle likes her back. In spurt of reckless courage, she boots up the family desktop in the computer room after dinner. Okay, I'm going to confess my love to her. God. <laughs> God. That was less than 20 years ago. Having, God, having to so... check if anybody was on the phone before you boot up the modem. Fucking right. Like, I, <laughs> that's so recent. And now we're at the point where, like, having a desktop is a weird thing. Everyone has their own laptop, their own cell phone, right? Their own smartphone. All of that stuff. But having a desktop now, it's weird. It means you're using it for work or you're just, I don't know, a strange person. Gaming. Gaming. Okay, yeah, that falls under strange person. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I stand by what I said. Yeah. I have a really good feeling about this. Do you? Certified brain genius. Wait, I is, forgot. That, is that? Is that? <laughs> that's a lucky, lucky star. star yeah. Is that a lucky star? Okay, I, I recognize that one. <sighs> hey, do you have a minute? Why is your display... <laughs> Why is your display name Certified Brain Genius? Ah, uh, because I am one? Duh. What difference is there between a genius and a brain genius? <laughs> it's a pointless distinction. No, no, they're obviously different. <laughs> Did you change it just to annoy me? I DK what you're talking about, and I don't appreciate you questioning my certification. We ladies need to uplift each other. Sounds like a car show might be out of touch. <laughs> no point in having two queens fight. Queens? Right now, I see it was nothing but an enemy to be obliterated. Okay, can we circle back to this later? That's not why I messaged you. Why did you message me then? I have to tell you something. What is it? I, uh, man, this is hard to say. Uh, I kind of have a crush on you. Uh, what? You're joking, right? Akarsha's stomach drops as Noelle's flat response flashes on the screen. Crap. That's not what I was expecting. If she really liked me, she would have jumped at the chance to say she felt the same way. I know I would have. Which means I was overthinking all our interactions after all. I'm not a certified brain genius anymore. I've made a grave mistake. Abort mission. Abort. Uh, just kidding. That was my brother. Your brother. Yeah, he took the keyboard and typed that as a joke. I can't believe he did that. Uh, like I'd ever say anything that crazy. I see. I mean, here's the thing. Doesn't Noel already have Akarsha like dead to rights? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think this is going to play, play it the way you think it will. Just forget this ever happened, okay? My bro's so random, lol. I GTG, now bye. Akarsha powers the family desktop off, her heart pounding a mile a minute. That was a close one. I somehow salvaged that and escaped unscathed. Apart from my heart being broken into a thousand smithereens, I mean... Akarsha dramatically throws herself onto the sofa in the living room. Used to this, her brother offers her a piece of candy. Hey, you wanna hide you? No thanks. <laughs> oh, don't do eat too many of those now. They have dangerous oils in them. Okay, Dad. Her mom goes into the room. Akarsha just left to switch off the light. What is this, Diwali? Oop, sorry, I was having a meltdown and forgot. Hey, wanna watch a funny movie with us? It'll make you feel better. What's the movie? She's the man! We just need to wait two minutes, it starts on TV at seven. The movie kicks off with the teenage heroine making out with her boyfriend. Ew, gross. I don't know, wish that were me. We would have been so cute together. We belong together, we should be dating. I was hoping so bad Noelle could see that, too. It just really hurts to know she doesn't feel the same way. Oh, this actress makes a very handsome boy, doesn't she? She would have tricked me. She would have tricked you? Be uh, Betty, do you know about- do you know- do you do this? Do what? Disguise myself as a guy? <laughs> what kind of question is that? You're so weird. Woohoo! Authentic late arts dialogue! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> oh man so many conversations with my parents growing up that are just <laughs> Woo! 
all right. It's a fun movie, but watching all the characters happily pair up after their wacky teen hijinks just makes Akarsha's chest ache even more. Seeing the forlorn expression on her face, her dad pats her on the shoulder. Ah, oh, cheer up. You really don't want to be a doctor. You can become a movie star instead, eh? What are you saying? I think it'd be cool if Akarsha becomes a famous movie star. If she's rich, we can live in the mountains. We could be like, in the wild. Why would we want that? You could do it, Betty, I believe. My parents have such high hopes for me, but all I do is waste the opportunities they worked so hard to give me. I have literally nothing going for me. I'm legitimately such a waste of time and resources. How do people manage to have their first kiss in kindergarten and stuff? What? Is that a thing? Nah, is that a thing? Why? You're in fucking kindergarten. What the fuck do you know? Why doesn't anyone want to kiss me? Am I that unlikable? It feels like such a remote thing that I can't imagine it ever happening to me. I've never even held someone's hand or been in any kind of relationship. At this rate, I'm going to go through my entire life without ever getting kissed. What's even the point of me staying alive? There's nothing for me to look forward to. Okay, to be fair, this is authentic high school level uh, oh, catastrophizing. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. yeah. oh, yeah. This is like exactly on the nose. Everything just feels so unattainable. Once the end credits roll, she dejectedly texts Min on her phone. I read online that it's healthy to wallow in sadness for up to one hour a day. <laughs> and that hour begins now. Yeah! What the fuck? Ah! <laughs> Shut! <laughs> Shut! Ah! What happened? I confessed and it didn't go well. Oh, shit. Luckily, the second I saw things were going south, I was able to backtrack and play it off as a joke. I said it was my brother pranking me. Wait, hold on. You did it through text? Yeah. Why? IDK, it seemed like a good idea at the time. And that way I could say it wasn't me if I chickened out. What the fuck? Do it properly, in person, and deal with the consequences of my actions? No, thank you. If you're not going to be sincere about it, then what, <laughs> what you get back isn't going to be real either. You're like someone who went to Vegas, spent one penny, and got spooked and left. You need to take risks if you want to win anything. Too scary. Coward. What's the point? I know they're not interested in me anyway. Weak sauce move right there. And I can't even blame them. Who'd want to waste time with a loser like me? What am I then, motherfucker, job labor? I'm wasting time with you right now. But you like wasting time with Dia more. See? Is die. It's not a... It's not a fucking contest. Okay, but it kinda is. IDK, like, having one person in the world think I'm worth loving would be nice. I feel like I've spent my entire life wanting people and being rejected, while nobody's ever felt anything for me. Like, am I really that ugly and boring that no one would ever fall in love with me? No, but, like... <sighs> I'm just a waste of space. Seriously, stop saying shit like that. I was just kidding. XD, I'm so random. It's not... It's not funny. XD... Don't XD me, you son of a bitch. I just want to do normal high school things, like date and go to parties and stuff. I feel like I'm missing out on this whole fun exp everyone else is having. Look, dumbass, there's probably like three couples in our entire grade, including me and Dia. A bunch of socially stunted fob nerds. Most of us aren't even allowed to date until college anyways. Great. So not only am I an undesirable weirdo, but I'm not even special. Not special is good sometimes. If you're not special, means you're not alone. Okay, yeah, yeah, I get it. You're right. Did you want to play Maple Story tonight? I need a distraction to stop thinking about my epic fail, OTL. Sorry, can't. Jun's using the computer right now. <sighs> How about we play through text then? What do you mean through text? <laughs> <laughs> it's a snail. Oh, okay. Attack. <laughs> <laughs> Ninja Star. <laughs> it's hitting you. Minus five HP. Uh, why? Use emoticons like me. Oh, uh, Star. What's that supposed to be? Your butthole? <laughs> Why would it be in my butthole? It's a ninja star, sicko. Oh, okay. 22 damage. Star. 25 damage. 
It's coming closer and closer again. <gasps> That's my fist punching. <laughs> Two damage. <gasps> Punch. Four damage. Minus three HP. What the? The snail should be dead by now. Don't they don't have that much HP? F9. <laughs> Fine, you're not damaged. Okay. Dollar sign. Okay, great. I'm going to try doing the Carding City PQ. Yeah, good choice. <laughs> what the? F what was that recorder version of my heart will go on? <laughs> 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 what the fuck? Beautiful, beautiful. No notes. Akarsha feels a bit better after talking to Min, but once she's logged off, the heartache in her chest returns. That night, Akarsha reads the entirety of Azumanga Dayo for the first time on an illegal manga, sca illegal manga scanlation site in an effort to forget about everything. That feel when? That feel That's when? That's not a trivial amount of manga to read. <laughs> that feel when? Yep, it doesn't work. It's a four coma. You can read it in one go. Yeah, you can, but it's like, I have the vol collected Azumaga Dino. It's like... And you haven't read it all in one go. Inches thick. Yeah. Inches. It's not a trivial read. It's manageable. It just takes then determination. Again, like, that, see, but, 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 but back in that age, I would be reading web comics. Mm -hmm. Web comics that I would, I would have to find with like big archives. You know, that's just how it works. And you would read that many pages. I... I wouldn't because my parents would turn off the internet at midnight. True, true. Did you have something like that too? Uh, no, I just, I, we had dial up for way too long. So it was mostly a, oh, the internet is only on during the brief periods of time when people Got aren't it. doing stuff on the phone and so on. Sensible. Akarsha cracks a weak smile as Dia answers the door. Hey, ready to walk to school together? Dia gives her an odd look as they start heading down the sidewalk. Are you okay? Yeah? Why do you ask? You didn't send me a weird message this morning like usual. Also, your eyes are red. Oh, that's nothing. I got shampoo in them while showering. You should get L'Oreal <laughs> Kids. No tears. <laughs> do you remember all the commercials for that? Yeah. God damn it. Are you making fun of me? Yeah. Oh. All your jokes are so deadpan, it's hard to tell sometimes. It must be nice to be pretty. I wish I didn't have to be funny all the time to get people to like me. It sucks being so pathetic that you fall hopelessly in love with anyone who pays even the slightest bit of attention to you. Especially unattainable straight girls. God, I'm stupid. I can't believe I was so desperate that I convinced myself she liked me back. Literally delusional. Ah, <sighs> sigh. At, at school, Akarsha nervously waits in the first period classroom before Noelle and Dia arrive. I wonder how facing Noelle again will go. A water bottle flies through the doorway and ricochets off the floor. Coast is clear. <laughs> you don't need to keep doing that, you know. I wouldn't reuse the same setup twice. Noelle cautiously sticks a long twig through the doorframe, her eyes narrowed at Akarsha. <laughs> then what is it this time, you putrid worm? Wouldn't you like to know? <sighs> She's acting like nothing happened last night. She must have believed what I said about my little brother sending the message. Thank God. Sorry, Pratik. Now I just gotta ignore my feelings until they eventually die out. I have a special present for you, Frenchman. Come closer. What? No, keep it to yourself. Don't be shy. I know you want your very special present. I don't want this present. Don't come near me. As Noelle enters the classroom suspiciously, she tries to give Akarsha a wide berth. Akarsha discreetly pulls her secret weapon out of her pocket. Here you go. It's a spinning light toy Akarsha got from Disneyland in elementary school. Noelle recoils as its rubber arms repeatedly whack her face. Kya! Thousand energy beams attack! I used to annoy my brother like this all the time. Akarsha! I hate you! Akarsha gulps as Dia approaches the crime scene and towers over her. <sighs> Come on, this isn't fair. Just look. I'm so small. Look how small I am compared to you. No, it's also my birthday. You can't be mean on my birthday. I can't believe they did the come on, come on, I'm just a little guy tweet. <laughs> That's one of my favorites. <laughs> a bit anachronistic, but we'll allow it. <laughs> is that true? She's lying. Her birthday isn't until April. Akarsha yelps as Dia snatches the spinny toy out of her grasp. Seeing that Akarsha's unarmed, Noelle menacingly starts walking toward her. Hey, calm down. 
I was doing you a favor, testing your reflexes for you, like at the doctor. Uh huh. Free, free reflex test. Akarsha breaks into a run as Noelle chases after her. Come back here, you Cretan! Oh shit! Baseball practice actually made her faster. Oh shit! She's catching up to me. Oh shit! When Akarsha comes to baseball practice, she hears whispering in the locker room. So the plan is we oh, all right. pitch in. She's in this game. If we split it up eight ways, it's only a dollar fifty per person. So I don't see why I should have to pay. Shh. You'll pay. He'll have to pay because it'll be hilarious. She'll never guess who it is. <laughs> and here I thought we were trying to do a good deed. Do you always have to be engaging in some kind of psychic mind battle with her? What are they scheming about? I want in. Karsha walks over to where the others are furtively huddled together. A hush falls over the team. Uh, why, hello there, Akarsha. Did, did it, I don't think we gave Esther. Um... Uh, we were just talking about uh, <laughs> uh, how Vampire Knight is getting an anime. <laughs> <laughs> we're acting so natural right now. Okay, clearly they're up to something. The question is, what? After jogging around the track and stretching, the Death Bagels run fielding drills. While Akarsha takes a breather in the dugout, she watches Noelle haplessly flail about on the field. Within moments, the object of her affection misjudges the trajectory of a fly ball and gets bonked on the head. Ow! Baseball champion. I would do anything for you, if only you'd let me. Akarsha lets out a wistful sigh as Noelle performs her signature move, throwing the ball almost directly into the ground. It sucks having a sad, hopeless crush. I just want Goral friend. So dramatic. Kon Konichi, what's up? I'm just bummed, because I've never experienced love. No one ever likes me back. I feel like I'm missing out on so much. It's okay. Being rejected is part of life. You should learn to love yourself. It's a lie that people can only be happy when they're in a relationship, after all. Esther glances up from the drawing she's scribbling on her sketchbook. Well, they're surprisingly wise words coming from someone with zero love experience. I learned that life lesson from Cardcaptor Sakura. The main character experiences unrequited love, even though she's a great person. That means it can happen to anyone. Even our Segoy, Akarsha-chan. That does make me feel less alone. Thanks, senpai. Ugh. Esther vigorously erases something on her page, making countless gray eraser shavings rain down on the dirt beneath the bench. Uh, Esther, what are you drawing? A chapter title page for a webcomic I'm starting. A webcomic? Like on Smack Jeeves? God, I haven't heard the phrase Smack Jeeves in forever. Yes. Akarsha peers over at Esther's sketchbook, but she recoils, looking bashful. Don't, don't look. I'm not done yet. Carson manages to glimpse a spiky-haired character on the page before Esther angles her sketchbook away from prying eyes. She's pretty good, though. If she posted that on DeviantArt, I Ugh. bet she'd get, like, 200 views. God, this entire game is like a fucking knife to the gut. <laughs> is that from an anime? Esther frowns aghast. No, it's just a regular guy. It's like those iPod ads, see? He's wearing white earbuds and I colored his silhouette in black. <laughs> Esther is the type of weeaboo who tries to hide the fact that she likes anime because she's embarrassed by it, but it's still super obvious. <laughs> I hate to break it to you, but even from his silhouette, you can tell it's an anime guy. Probably his hairdo. No real guys have bangs that go down to their chin, after all. They should, though. Life would be way less boring. Ugh, guys with short hair are so hard to draw. <laughs> Akasha turns her attention back to the field where Dia and Min are passionately kissing. <laughs> Baseball, just in the middle of the field. Yeah, you don't remember that part of baseball? No, I didn't. I would have gotten more into it if that was the case. <laughs> Where's the John Boy's documentary on that one, huh? Yeah, this is a. That's why they make baseball so long and boring, so that everyone forgets to pay attention, and the players can all just like wander off and make out for a while in the middle. It'll be like inning seven. No one will notice. They'll all come back for inning nine, perfect. and by then everybody will be back in it. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Yeah. Do you have to do that in front of us? <laughs> Just you watch. I'm going to rub my gay hands all over her. <gasps> I'm so jealous. I want to be in love, too. 
someday everyone else is going to get married except me, and I'll be the one sad single friend. Yeah, me too. <laughs> me three. If that happens, we should all pitch in to buy a mansion and live as otaku together. That definitely doesn't sound like the kind of life my parents were envisioning for me when they immigrated here, but that sounds incredible. Doesn't it? We could put up all our anime prints and display our figurines with no shame. Speak for yourself. I don't have any of that stuff. My room is normal. You don't have anything? You've never been to an anime convention before? Fanime is like right there in San Jose. Oh, we should all go together this year. We can all cosplay the same series. Yeah, maybe like Soul Leader or Haruhi Suzumiya. Ugh, uh, uh, God. I, I, <laughs> got opinions on Haruhi Suzumiya. What? At Fanime? Admission is probably too expensive anyway. Esther scoffs like she's not interested before furtively writing something on the tiny side of her sketchbook page. She didn't write small enough. It says Fanime. She's probably going to Google it later. Hey, all you slackers sitting down doing nothing, get over here and practice. Yeah. Valentine's Day. <gasps> Valentine's Day. Holy shit. Akarsha scoffs as a few upperclassmen come in to deliver the goodies people ordered. We should have a reverse Valentine's Day where we give annoying, terrible gifts to our enemies on purpose. You mean what you do <laughs> already do to me every single day of my life? Oh, true. A few of their classmates receive ribboned roses, but someone comes in holding an entire bouquet. Oh, are you Akarsha? This one's for you. Huh? Bewildered, Akarsha accepts the bouquet and notices there's a note tied to it with a ribbon. It reads, Roses are red, violets are blue. Love never crossed my mind until the day I met you. Your secret admirer. Secret admirer? Who? I can't believe it. Is this some kind of joke? Is this some kind of twisted joke? <laughs> That one's definitely anachronistic, but we'll allow it. <laughs> Akarsha looks wildly... Imagine, like, we had to only do, like, 0809, at, like, references That would well. be so hard because I be. have such severe meme poisoning. <laughs> yeah. I've replaced my entire vocabulary, like, once every six months with whatever <laughs> garbage floats across my timeline. <laughs> Akarsha looks wildly around the room in case her paramour is watching her for a reaction from afar. But no one seems to be acting out of the ordinary except Dia and Noel, who are beside themselves with amusement. Ah, oh, someone sent you flowers, huh? I told you I was a hot commodity. I charmed the pants off someone without even knowing it. What's the note say? Let me read it. Why do you care? Are you jealous? In your dreams. I bet she won't show us because they misspelled her name as Arkasha. Why are you so mean today? I'm going to tell the teacher you're bullying me. Maybe I can deduce who the sender is, like a detective. The poem is one hint. There's got to be others. Akarsha flips the note over. It's blank except for a small, dark smudge on the back. Clue? Maybe it's from food, like blackberries. Akarsha sniffs the note, but it's hard to single out any scent over the fragrance of the roses. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Quiet, meanie. I'm trying to crack the code. You're interrupting my mind palace technique. There's only two possibilities here. Either someone is secretly in love with me, or it's a prank. But it's kind of a lot of money to spend on a prank. It's either fake or real. You don't say. Thank you for narrowing it down for us. Be quiet. Flustered, Akarsha scans the room one more time for good measure. She catches Dia looking away a beat too late, smiling to herself. <laughs> what are you smiling about? Nothing. Just happy for you. Yeah, Dia would just be, like, earnestly happy. Yeah. Be like, oh, like, yeah, that's so great for you. Aw. <gasps> and we're going to play as Dia next time. Next time. I like how, I like how you, you, you caught on to that. I didn't have to, like, <laughs> you, just, you, just, you just knew. You just yep. knew. High five me. That I, wasn't I, a high five. I wanted for a fist bump when I said high five. Yeah. I, I've ruined everything. <laughs> I'm so sorry. See you all in episode two, everyone. Bye. <laughs> Smash that like, comment and subscribe.